Hey guys, welcome to my channel Fatih here. Well, we are in Eyüp area and you can see the Eyüp Sultan Mosque behind me. As you can see, this is pretty historical area and we are going to visit the Pierre Luti Hill. But before visiting Pierre Luti Hill, there are pretty historical buildings around. So just get lost in the streets of Eyüp. This place is so historical, you will feel yourself you are coming from the 15th, 16th century during the Ottoman Empire's time. While you are here, you can visit this historical Eyüp Sultan Mosque. I will show you some details. I have a video about Eyüp Sultan Mosque, so you can watch it up here. We are going to focus on the Pierre Lotti Hill today. Let's go and check it out together. Well, there are two ways to go to uh, Pierre Lotti. One way, going up from these stairs and the other way is uh, with the cable car so we're gonna try cable car it's only 3.5 Turkish Lira it's easy to go you can use your Istanbul card to go to the Pierre Lotti Hill via cable car so we're gonna try cable car and then we will come back from this way let's go and check how Pierre Lotti looks like on your way from Eyüp Sultan Mosque to the Pierre Lotti the cable car you can see a lot of souvenir shops, like these tiny shops. You can buy some souvenirs for your loved ones. Let's go and take the cable car up to the Pierre Lotti. Alright, I made it to the cable car, so we're gonna take the cable car to go up to the Pierre Lotti. To use the cable car, you need an Istanbul card, one of these. You can buy, it's cheap. And also there are some machines here where you can buy Istanbul card. Get your Istanbul card and get on the cable car. We don't have much cable cars in Istanbul. One is in here and the other one is in Beşiktaş area. But this is the most fun part. So we are going to Pierre Luti with this cable car. Actually, when you are going up by a cable car, you can see a great view of Istanbul from here. We'll pass through the graveyards. This is a great golden horn view. Actually, this is my first time on this cable car. You know what? The view is amazing. Just take the uh, one which is close to this side. You will see a better view with this one. Well, you know what? I like being a tourist in my own city. I'm enjoying it. For example, I'm 30 years old and I 15, last 15 years I'm living in Istanbul and this was my first time in a cable car in Istanbul. After you come here via the cable car, you can see a great view from here. What you can see, you can see Galata Tower, Hagia Sophia, Blue Mosque from here. And also it's dominating to the Golden Horn. So there is a great Golden Horn view from here, from Pierre Lotti. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, the cafes and restaurants are closed so you don't have any possibility to sit down here and enjoy this view but you can still bring your coffee and have some really nice time here without pandemic this is a really nice place to come and have some Turkish coffee tea with this great golden horn view behind you Pierre Luti was a naval officer in French army be wondering who is Pierre Loti. Pierre Loti was a French naval officer and novelist known for his exotic novels and short stories. The famous cafe entitled with the name of Pierre Loti, a famous French writer, is reached on getting to the ridge on which the perfect view of Golden Horn can be watched. The real name of Pierre Loti, who lived in Istanbul for long years and was a real Istanbul lover, was Julien Viaud. The historical cafe is the most ideal place to watch this mentioned view. Pierre Lotti is also located at the top of the graveyard. When you are walking down from Pierre Lotti to Eyüp area, you walk between the graveyards. This 
kind of interesting. If it's late night, it could be scary. But don't be afraid of dead people, afraid of the people who are alive. Right, why I'm telling you to use cable car to go up to the Pierloti? Because it's gonna be too tiring to go up all the way to the Pierloti. So it's better to use cable car when you are going. And it's better to use stairs when you are going down back to the Abe Sultan Mosque. There are graves from Ottoman Empire and now there are modern graves also on this way to the Pierloti. These are the old Ottoman graves and here on this side also there are graves from the Ottoman Empire time. You might know that the restaurants and cafes are closed so if you want to eat outside just you are just sitting on a bench and having breakfast oh, no scratching <laughs> Istanbul is city of cats there are millions of cats living together with us in Istanbul you can see here I have one at home <laughs> Even these trees are really old. old. There are two old trees here. I don't know how old they are, but probably 500, 600 years old. These trees. Even these historical water fountains, they're all working. You can see it's the original one. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my videos and comment below what would you like to see in this channel. See you in another video. Bye bye.